Uh, hello, my name is Hector Peralta, and I'm a third year PhD student in American Studies. Today, our public schools in the US are as segregated as they were when the Supreme Court ruled in Brown versus Board of Education. What's more, states like New York and California are among the most segregated of those states. But how did we get here? Well, by the 1980s, constitutionally mandated integration of schools had been largely undermined through legislation like California's Prop 21, which prohibited mandatory busing. Today, schools continue to contend with the effects of white flight, redistricting, and the rise in private and charter school enrollment. Yet, state-funded school programs working to improve graduation rates and increase access to higher education largely ignore the realities of inequity produced through school segregation. One such program is AVID, which stands for Advancement via Individual Determination. In 1980, a high school English teacher named Mary Catherine Swanson founded the AVID program at a public high school in San Diego County. As schools restructured to accommodate for changes in student demographics and budget capacity caused by factors like refugee, refugee resettlement and the privatization of education, AVID was advertised as a remedy an educational innovation to close the achievement gap. Today AVID, is offer, today, AVID is offered in 47 states and 16 countries worldwide. In popular coverage, Swanson is celebrated as a visionary educator with a plan and the gall to disseminate it. Yet these very accounts celebrate her individual grit and tenacity without emphasizing the collective of mentors, educators, and administrators that make AVID as successful as it is. Even the name, Advancement Via Individual Determination, pushes forward a neoliberal vision of public education. It is up to the individual student determination if they go to college. So my research asks, how is the resegregation of schools and the unequal distribution of resources rendered invisible behind programs like AVID? Furthermore, how is the AVID pedagogy implemented in other education programs designed for indigenous and migrant communities within the San Diego region? With the support of RIDM, I conducted archival and ethnographic research this summer to examine how different educational institutions in San Diego address the achievement gap in schools. Primarily, I worked at the Viejas Tribal Education Center, or VTEC, located on the Viejas Kumeyaay Reservation in East County, San Diego. VTEC provides after-school tutoring, college readiness, and life management skills workshops um, for students who are uh, children of enrolled tri tribal members. In an oral history I conducted with uh, Teresa, the high school student coordinator at VTech, she stated the greatest need within the public school district is tutoring services for all students, not just those in AVID or those um, at part of VTech. Looking forward, I will analyze how collaborative mentorship functions differently across AVID, VTech, and YALA, which is a nonprofit that uses a combination of after school tutoring and team soccer to prepare migrant students to enter college. As San Diego County continues to lead in refugee resettlement, I hope my research will support and promote pedagogies of and for liberation. Thank you.